friends welcome back to my youtube channel unlock your learning in this video we are going to solve icc mathematics class 6 chapter 1 numbers exercise 1g question 5 estimate the quotient and verify by actual calculation so we have to estimate this quotient and verify by actual calculation right so see uh, what you are supposed to do is first of all we will divide right and after dividing you will find the estimated quotient so 8 and 563 is over here so what we are supposed to do we will estimate this right estimate this how see so 800 and then 563 this you have to do so we'll estimate the quotient to be what 8 divided by sorry not 8 divided by this one see now you have to do something here so that it becomes divisible by 8 so what i can write I can write 56 8 into 7 7 times 8 is 56 this we know so this is divisible and I have to estimate 63 is there so if I can get rid of this 60, uh, 3 and I put here 0 it will be alright because I am doing estimation right so this is how we are estimating it to the nearest tens place right both of them we have to solve and we have to verify estimated quotient and the actual quotient let's do it first let's begin uh, so uh, what we'll do see we'll multiply this one here 560 so you'll have what 8 divided by 560 so this is going to give you 56 here 7 times 0 bring down this 0 minus 0 so you have 0 put here 0 70 this is estimated portion now actual one see here 563 so minus again 56 right uh, so what you'll have here 7 okay 0 bring down this 3 3 is not divisible by 8 so minus 0 3 in the remainder and 0 right so you can see the difference 3 is coming here in the what remainders right so this is how we do this uh, question let's move on to the second part of it we've got 7 divided by 714 okay so again we will estimate this to be what let's do this as 7 divided by 714 i will round off to the nearest hundreds seven so this can be written as i round off to the nearest hundreds so we'll have 700 here right we'll round it off to the nearest hundreds now again this is estimated this is actual let's do the estimated one first so minus seven ones is uh, seven right or you can take it 10 times that will be fine too let's take it one time only right so zero here put here one Ma and then bring down the zero then minus zero 0 bring down another 0 minus 0 0 2 times here 2 times here so 100 right 714 here so what I'll do so minus 7 7 again minus 7 this will go 1 times 0 bring down 1 here right now you have what 1 will not go by 7 so what I will write minus 0 simple and put 0 in the quotient right you can continue it from here 1 minus 0 1 bring down the next 4 so 14 now see 7 and 14 so 7 into 2 is what 14 so 102 and here minus 14 do you see the difference here the difference is of 2 right the quotient is 102 actual but the estimated is 100 let's move on to the next part now see the third part we have got here what in the third part is 9 right then here you have 7187 7187 divided by 9 now we can again estimate this 7187 i can write it as what 9 the division and then this one so 787 can be written as 7200 why because this is divisible by your 9 right because 9 into 8 is 72 these two zeros don't matter right and here this one We'll check if it is or it is not by doing actual division. First, let's do this one. So 9 and 72, you have 9 into 8 is 72. 0. Bring down this 0, minus 0. Put over here 0, right. Then bring down one more 0 here, right. What do you have here? Minus 0. Same result. So you have estimated quotient as 800, right then let's see here we will have what minus here same thing i'll take this out by 9 into uh, sorry this 7 times right 63 here 
and here this will be 8 bring down this another 88 so 9 into 9 is 81 see here you will have what uh, 7 right bring down this one here minus 72 5 left here and here 8 798 and 5 in the remainder right so this is how we do it let's move on to the next part now now see the next part this is the fourth part we have what here 4 divided by 2757 so this you can estimate as 4 divided by 2000 757 to the nearest 100 will give you 800 2800 now see first we'll find estimated question 4 and 28 4 into 7 is what 28 so you have 0 bring down this 0 minus 0 0 0 here again and put this 0 as well minus 0 0 technically you have 700 right now here you have what 24 6 times 6 4 is 24 right <coughs> so minus 24 you'll have here 3 bring down this 5 here 35 4 and 35 so what I'll do this 35 will become 4 9 uh, 8 za, right is what 32 so minus 32 this is 5 and this is 8 then 57 so 57 will become what uh, sorry wait so this is not the 57 this is 37 right so 37 how many times will 37 go let's see 4 8 is 32 4 9 is 36 4 10 is 40 so we'll go with 9 9 times we'll go right so you'll have 36 here and 1 in the remainder so this is your answer right this is how we do this now see the next part this is the fifth part you have 21 divided by 4413 so you can estimate this to be 21 divided by 4410 right we will round it off to the nearest tens right so 21 divided by 4410 right now see what you'll have over here uh, so we can solve this one this one first we'll do 21 and 44 we have 21 into 1 is 21 21 into 2 is 42 for your convenience I'm doing this so 42 is the nearest one right so multiply it two times you'll go so put 2 in the quotient minus here you will have 2 bring this one down so 21 21 into 1 is 21 so 1 here and here also 21 bring down this 0 minus 0 0 simple 210 then here we have what 4413 so 4413 again same thing 44 we have so i'll take out 42 from this two times two will be left here bring down 21 minus 21 one times zero here and bring down this three three will not be divisible by 21 so remainder in remainder three will go and in quotient zero will go same quotient only differences of the remainder three now let's move on to the next part now see the sixth part and this we have here as 3758 divided by 97 so this can be written as what 3758 i will round up to the nearest thousands so this will become 4000 divided by 97 we will round it off to the nearest hundreds right so this will become 100 <coughs> now you have what 4000 divided by 100 this is your estimated and here you have 3758 divided by 97 right so what will this become see this will be equal to you have uh, three zeros here and two zeros in 100 so when you are dividing you will just remove that zero how many zeros are in 100 two how many zeros here three so remove two zeros of three how many left one so you'll have four will be as it is and one zero so 40 becomes your quotient let's do this division here 3758 <coughs> and 97 right again we have a big number so i'll go manually see 97 uh, this should be going how many times let's try taking this out how about four times right uh, 
Seven fours are eight and two carried over. Nine fours are thirty-six and two thirty-eight. Three eighty-eight. So you can see this is more than what I want. So we will not go with this. Instead, we will go with what? Ninety-seven into three. One, two here. Nine three is twenty-seven and two, which is coming out to be twenty-nine. Right? Two ninety-one. So minus two ninety-one from this. How many times? Three times four here and one and this is four. Oh, sorry. Here you have seventeen minus nine. That is going to be eighty-four. Bring down this eight here. Right. Now let's try how many times this will go. I think this should go about nine uh, times. But let us try and see. Nine sevens are three six carried over. Nine nines are eighty-one and six eight seventy-three, which is more. So this will go how many times? Less than nine will be eight. Ninety-seven into eight. See, eight sevens are six and five carried over. And eight nines are seventy-two and five. That is what seven seventy-six, right? So you'll have minus seven seventy-six. This is here two forty-eight minus seven is seven seventy-two. This will go how many times? Eight times, right? This is remainder. Let's leave it like that because this is further not divisible. So what you get here? Actual quotient thirty-eight. Estimated question, uh, quotient forty, right? Let's move on to the next part now. Second part is what you have five thousand one hundred and ninety-four divided by one twenty-eight. This can be estimated as five thousand and two hundred divided by one hundred and thirty, right? So this is going to be what thirty into four is fifty-two. So four will come here and three zeros. Sorry, only two zeros. Uh, only one zero. Why? Because you can see. Two is here and one is here. Two zeros here, one zero here. So you subtract the number of zeros. Two minus one is one. So one zero will come here. And here, what will happen? Let's divide and let's see. So this should go four times, right? One twenty-eight fours. So let's check. According to this, this should go four times. Eight fours are two and three here. Four twos are eight and three. Eleven and one here, right? And one here. Five hundred and twelve. So minus five hundred and twelve here. Seven. Bring down this four. This is going how many times? Four times. Minus zero. Seventy-four is less than one twenty-eight. So zero. So forty, right? So again, you can see this is coming this way. Sorry, here this will not be zero. This will be seventy-four, right? Let's move on to the next part now. Now see, this is your eighth part. What is here? Seven thousand nine hundred eighty-two divided by seven hundred eighty-nine. This will become what? Round this off to the nearest thousands. This will give you eight thousand. Round this off to the nearest hundreds. This will give you eight hundred. So this is what eight divided by eight one. And you can see we have three zeros here, two zeros here. So three minus two. That means one zero will come here. Right? Estimated one. Let's do the actual calculation and verify now. See. Don't look at the two for now. You have seven hundred eighty-nine. You have seven hundred ninety-eight. How many times this will go? So calculate and see. Seven hundred eighty-nine, seven ninety-eight. This will go one times, right? This is go one times. Why? This is seven hundred eighty-nine. If you'll take two, this will be more than that, right? So you'll be left with eighteen minus nine. That is nine. A minus. This is not really right. Now bring down this ninety-two. This is again less than seven eighty-nine. So minus zero, and here also zero, right? And friends, this is all for today. If you are new to my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one. Till then, take care of yourselves and bye.